Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Harsham Ali Khan. So this is the last and final problem on general insurance companies. This is the problem number 11. So already 10 problems I have completed till the last video. I have explained you how to make the revenue account, fire revenue account and marine revenue account. And what are the provisions of the law that we have to follow while making the revenue account. All these things I have explained in the last 10 problems. So if you have watched those problems, definitely now you are in a position to solve the problem on revenue account, profit and loss account and balance sheet of general insurance companies. So right now if you join, you may not be able to understand. So I suggest you to watch from beginning. The first video, uh, go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject corporate accounting, select the topic general insurance companies, watch the first video, you will get the basic concepts, the meaning of different concepts which are used in general insurance. So apart from this, I have uploaded so many videos on different subjects like financial accounting, advanced accounting, corporate accounting, advanced corporate accounting, cost accounting, management accounting, financial management, investment management, so many videos I've uploaded. Select your subject, select the topic, watch the video and enhance your knowledge, your confidence on the subjects. Now I'm going to start the last and final problem that is problem number 11. And before starting the problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I've given in the link under my description. So see the 11th problem. <clears throat> The accounts of Mutual Benefit General Insurance Company Limited have extracted a few items from the trial balance of the company and has requested you to prepare the necessary accounts in the statutory form to disclose the profit and loss for the year. The items extracted are, so it is asking you to find out the profit earned during the year. We are not required to make the balance sheet. So for finding out profit, first of all, we may need the revenue account. So fire revenue account and marine revenue account we have to make, then we have to make the profit and loss account. Now see here, first one, director's fee. Director's fee is a general expense. So director's fees will be taken under other expenses in profit and loss account. So this is the profit and loss account. Other expenses you can see here, director's fee 27,000. <clears> That's all. Next one is dividend received. Actually interest, dividend, rent. These are income from investment. Income from investment. <clears throat> so here I have taken income from investment, interest and dividends. So this 25,000 rupees is the dividend receipt. Next provision for taxation on 1-4-2003. Beginning of the year provision for taxation is 75,000. And below that income tax paid during the year 50,000. We are given the provision for taxation at the beginning of the year and also we are given income tax paid during the year. And one adjustment is also given. See the adjustment, adjustment number C. The directors have decided that the provision for taxation should stand at 40,000 on 31st March 2004. 31st March 2004 means end of the year. At the end of the year, the directors wants a provision for taxation to be 40,000. So we are given the provision at the beginning of the year that is 20, 75,000. Beginning of the year provision is 75,000. And income tax paid during the year is 50,000. And the provision to be kept at the end of the year is 40,000. That's all. By using this data, we have to find out how much provision to be charged to profit and loss account. How much provision for taxation to be charged to profit and loss account. That we have to find out. For finding that, we make an account called provision for taxation account. By making this provision for taxation account, we can be able to find out how much provision for taxation to be taken to profit and loss account. First of all. Provision for taxation is a liability and all liabilities will show credit balance. So credit side by balance brought down opening. This is the opening balance. So opening ba balance is given 75,000 here in the problem. The opening provision for taxation is 75. Now income tax paid during the year. That will be taken on the debit side. So to bank tax paid 50,000. 50,000. Now, closing provision, the provision for taxation to be kept at the end of 
the year is 40,000 given in the adjustment. The directors wants to keep a provision for taxation 40,000 closing. So opening we have taken on the credit side. Opening provision we have taken on the credit side. So closing provision we have to take it on the debit side. Opposite. Opening we have taken on credit side. Closing we will take on debit side. To balance carried down 40,000 closing. This is the closing provision. So we have taken all the three items. Opening provision, closing provision and income tax paid. The balancing figure is the provision for taxation to be taken to profit and loss account. How much is the balance? Debit side 50 plus 40, 90,000. 90,000 minus 75,000, 15,000. So this 15,000 by profit and loss account balancing figure. So 15,000 is not given in the problem. We have prepared the provision for taxation account to find out how much provision to be taken to profit and loss. Now this 15,000 should be taken here. Provision for taxation 15,000. That's it. Next two point is interest received. Actually interest and dividend are income from investment. So how much is the interest received? 9,000. So I have taken 25,000 plus 9,000. 25,000 is the dividend, 9,000 is the interest. Then fixed asset on 142003. Beginning of the year fixed assets are 10,000. Next income tax paid already we have taken. Now outstanding claim on 142003. Beginning of the year. Claims paid. So claims paid will be taken in schedule number 2. Claims incurred. See. Claims incurred. Under claims incurred, fire marine, claims paid 45,000, 29,000, given in the problem, 45, 29. To this we add outstanding claim at the end of the year. See the adjustment. Claims outstanding as on 31st March 2004, fire is 5,000, marine is 1,000. So 5,000 and 1,000, these are the outstanding claim at the end of the year. So add up. Claims outstanding at the end of the year, 5,000, 1,000. 50,000, 30,000. Now, beginning of the year, claims outstanding on 1 for 2003, 13,000, 3,000. 13,000, 3,000. Deduct. 37,000 and 27,000 are the claims incurred. So, claims incurred, I have taken 37, 27. Next item. Reserve for unexpired risk. These are the reserves at the beginning of the year. The fire risk is 50,000, 37,000. This will take while making. Schedule number one, premium earned. Then premium received. Now I'm coming to the first schedule. Schedule number one, premium earned. Fire insurance. Premium received is 1,33,000. Right? Similarly, marine insurance. Premium received is 79,000. It is given here. 1,33,000 and 79,000. 1,33,079. Premium received. Commission to agents. Schedule number 3 here. Commission to agents, commission paid 15,000, 10,000 directly. I have taken no adjustment, nothing. Expenses of management, schedule number 4. Schedule number 4, expenses of management, operating expense 19,000, 7,000, no adjustment. Then reinsurance premium. Reinsurance premium will be deducted from premium. Will be deducted from premium. So here, Reinsurance premium 13,000 fire and reinsurance premium 3,000 marine. So deduct 133 minus 13, 120. 79 minus 3, 76. Next, the following points are to be taken into account. Some adjustments are given. First, depreciation on fixed assets at 10% to be provided. Depreciation will be taken under other expenses. 10% on fixed asset. Fixed assets are given 1 for 2003, 10,000. So at the beginning of the year, the fixed assets are 10,000. 10% 10 of 10,000, 1,000. So depreciation I have taken 1,000. Next item. Interest accrued 2,000. Accrued means due but not received. Due but not received. That's an income. So interest accrued will be added to interest. So here interest and discount. This 2000 rupees is the interest accrued. Now 25,000 rupees is the dividend. 9000 rupees is the interest received. 
and 2000 rupees is the interest accrued total is 36000 next the directors have decided that the provision for taxation should stand at 40000 on 31st march so closing provision for taxation already we have completed then claims outstanding as on 31st march 2004 that means outstanding claim end of the year that we have already added outstanding claim end of the year then premium outstanding as on 31st march the premium is also outstanding outstanding premium will be added to premium outstanding premium will be added to premium so outstanding premium at the end of the year 12,000 here also outstanding premium at the end of the year 8,000 this is fire this is marine then reserve for unexpired risk to be kept reserve for unexpired risk to be kept 50% of premium for fire and 100% of premium for marine as usual that's all I have completed the problem all the points I have discussed now I'll complete the schedule number one fire premium premium received 133,000 given from that we deduct reinsurance premium 313,000 deducted outstanding premium add up so total is uh, net premium is 1,32,000 so 1,32,000 is the net premium now we have to adjust for reserve for an expired risk adjustment for change in reserve for an expired risk end of the year at the end of the year we have to keep 50% of net premium so 50% of 1,32,000 66,000 in this problem we don't have any additional reserve not at all in the whole problem nothing is mentioned regarding additional reserve only normal reserve statutory reserve so 50% of 132,066 beginning of the year it is given there beginning of the year reserve for an expired risk is 50,000 deduct 16,000 out of column minus 132 minus 16 is 116,000 so 1 lakh 16,000 I have taken here. Similarly for marine, premium received 79,000 minus reinsurance premium 3,000 add outstanding premium end of the year 8,000. So net premium 84,000. 84,000 is the net premium. Now adjustment for unexpired risk. End of the year, 100% of premium received, 100% of net premium. So net premium 84,000, 100% of 84,000, 84,000. Beginning of the year. At the beginning of the year, how much is the premium given in the problem? Reserve for an expired risk at the beginning of the year, marine, is 37,000. Deduct 84 minus 37, 47,000 rupees. Outer column, deduct 84 minus 47, 37,000 is the premium earned. This 37,000 I have taken here. Over all the notes have completed schedules have completed now simply see here premium earned schedule number one we got it claims incurred just now we have calculated commission we have i have discussed operating expenses taken now a minus b operating profit positive profit negative loss so 116 minus 17 45,000 is the operating profit positive whereas 37 minus 44 loss negative there is a loss 7,000 so there is an operating profit in fire, operating loss in marine. So operating profit fire 45,000, loss 7,000, minus 38,000 net operating profit. To this we add income from investment, 36,000 total. Other expenses are director's fee depreciation, take the total outer column. Profit before tax, 46,000. Provision for taxation, just now we have calculated 15,000. Take that 15,000, deduct, we'll get profit before appropriations or profit after tax that's it this is the end of problem number 11 totally 11 problems i have solved on general insurance each and every point i have explained so hope you are feeling you are getting a feel that you are benefiting from this channel so please if you are satisfied give a like to the video Share my channel in your group, in your friend circle, so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Give your comments on these videos. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe. So in this subject of corporate accounting, 
I have completed all the topics. The first topic I have completed, company liquidation. So many problems I have explained. Secondly, amalgamation of companies. Third, internal reconstruction and acquisition of business. Fourth, banking companies. Accounts of banking companies. Fifth, insurance claims. Next one, life insurance company accounts. And lastly, general insurance company accounts. So many vast topics have completed. So watch the video till the end and get uh, your uh, I mean, confidence on the subject. Okay, we'll take up the next subject in the next video.